All right, we're going to now talk about the Alabama shooting that happened in Dadeville, Alabama. They charged two teenagers uh, with the shooting in Dadeville, Alabama that they shot at a Sweet 16. That is the end of a news conference that is happening, just happened in Dadeville, Alabama. Pretty important update to this case, the shooting over the weekend at a 16th birthday party where four people were killed and 32 were hurt. We just got the information from authorities. They have arrested two teenagers. Uh, they tell us it's Tyree McCullough, uh, McCullough, 17, and Travis McCullough, 16. So they've arrested two teenagers. They've charged them each with four counts of reckless murder. Let's bring in ABC News contributor and former FBI agent Brad Garrett now. Uh, Brad, I'm assuming you were able to hear that uh, news conference with us. If you weren't, that was, that was the important information they gave us. They talked a lot about the victims, of course, and we all still are thinking about the victims. Um, but here, the, the, the important update was the arrest of these two teenagers. Um, your initial thoughts on how long this took? Was it a short period of time, long period of time? What are your thoughts? Oh, fuck. Well, I wouldn't call it a long period of time. I mean, one of the issues you always have in, in cases with multiple victims is, and in this case, my guess is this was a targeted shooting, but the two juveniles that they are, or young adults that they have charged, the two teenagers, uh, are obviously connected to at least one or more of the people that were injured or killed you know, at this party. So on some levels that makes it easier only because there is a relationship or connection between the victims and the shooters. Um, it's a small town. I suspect it just took the police a while to get enough information to actually charge them because still one issue is if you charge too soon, Sometimes you miss evidence. And in a case like this, you just don't want to do that. Uh, and so I would say this is about right, considering we're really only talking about three days ago. Yeah, and Brad, the, you, the police chief of Dadeville made it a point to say that immediately when this happened, he brought in state and federal officials. This, as you point out, is a small, a small town, close-knit town, um, which is why he probably went larger. You think that was the right call at that point? So it's, it's interesting in that you see more and more, more small and medium-sized law enforcement agencies reaching out to federal and state law enforcement, in particular the federal, mainly for two. Is it actually effing like, or are you guys just like fucking with me? I'm just going to end stream, uh, honestly. Like, I can't tell if it's, like, genuinely effing or if you guys are, like, fucking around in it, it. It's, like, very frustrating. It makes me want to fucking quit, uh, honestly. You know how much I hate this shit. It's completely outside of my control. It's most likely on the fucking uh, Twitch side. Uh, even if it's, like, a minor one, just, you know, live through it, Okay. things more manpower manpower that can reach beyond alabama which may or may not be relevant in this case they bring you know technical stuff atf would come to the table fbi would come to the table and to help them shape this case so a they don't miss anything and b maybe even help them uh, in, in how are you going to interview these two I don't know Alabama's law on this. The 16-year-old, I suspect, might have to have parental permission to interview him. All of those things, they may not have the expertise to do that. And so if you have the feds who teach this stuff and also talk all or have connections all over the country, they may be able to offer some insight, even through psychologists that the FBI works with on how you interview juveniles. And Brad, you know how uh, cases like this are worked and how investigations like this are worked. Tell us what's been going on uh, really since Saturday night when they began looking for uh, the shooters in this case. Okay, so clearly the key is you have to link these two shooters to that location. How do you do that? The following ways. You've got obviously a number of people that survived the shooting. Uh, they may have recognized one or both of the shooters. If they have the weapons at this point, did they link 
the, in the shell casings that were found at the scene to these weapons, did they find that these two teenagers purchased this we these weapons? Did they take them from their homes? All of those things become important because you want to put these weapons in their hands and more importantly, put them at the scene. And so it's every one of those angles that I just mentioned to include obviously things like CCTV, uh, cars leaving the scene, people that were out on the street when this occurred. Uh, did they see two folks jump out of a car, run into this location, fire multiple shots and then leave? Things like that. So again, the prosecutor and the police with, with the feds and states help, I think have now pulled this case together at least for enough probable cause to arrest them. And hopefully they've gotten to the point where they feel fairly comfortable going to trial. And Brad, I, I, maybe you can speak more generally about this, but it's four counts of reckless murder. And you heard a, a reporter there. It interested me when I heard it, too, because I know from state to state, murder charges will, will differ. Uh, I haven't heard that term. Do you, have you heard reckless murder before? And if so, do you know what, what it what, I what it have. Means? I, okay. I will tell you, the South has some interesting ways to talk about murder. Um, and so I think it goes back to perhaps the laws that were passed a long time ago. But you have to go beyond the words they're using and go to the statute and say what it's, you know, is is that premeditated murder? Is it first degree murder? My guess is it probably is. Uh, I'm also going to guess because of their age, they may well have been charged as adults, or if not, they will ultimately be charged as adults. All right, Brad Garrett, uh, ABC News contributor and former FBI agent. We do appreciate the time and the expertise. Uh, and the authorities say they will specifically define reckless murder when they, when they send out a press release earlier on today. Brad, thanks so much. Always good to talk to you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.